Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're gonna put a Bigsby on a Gibson ES333. So I had a customer bring in uh, this Gibson ES333, which is basically sort of like a 335. It's a little cheaper version of it. It's got a satin finish. One of the biggest things about it is it's got a control cavity be behind here, sort of like an SG or a Les Paul. But it's a great guitar. Um, but he wants to add a Bigsby B7. So, since I have to do this, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna make a video and we're gonna talk about some of the kind of pitfalls and things you gotta look for um, when correctly installing one of these things that will help with your tuning stability and stuff in the future. Bigsby B7s are a little unique in the fact that they sort of float on the body. Now, what I mean by that is, a B5, like on a Tele, has bolts here and here, and it has a bolt here and here. Now, you might say, well, there's bolts here and there's bolts here, but the thing is, it's got this hinge in the middle, okay? And the other thing is, this is a very long and thin plate of metal. Here's what can happen if we install them incorrectly. You can actually over-tighten one piece or the other, and you can twist this and what will happen is it will make it to where these bearings right here will bind up a little and it won't allow your vibrato to turn, return to center. See these foam pieces right here underneath? A lot of people will tighten down a Bigsby, like bolt it down to the guitar because they think they're gonna lose sustain if they don't. You're not gonna lose or gain sustain by how tight you put the thing to the guitar, but what you will do is you will unevenly, possibly, squish these little foam things and twist this thing on the guitar. Especially because it's got this hinge right here, you can cause this to happen. It's supposed to actually kind of float on these foam pieces. Now people will argue and argue about sustain with a Bigsby, but the bottom line is, if you do this wrong, the thing won't work right. It'll have a bind in the arm and it can cause you tuning stability. A lot of people fight with Bigsby's and this is the reason why. You can go to our other video on do you, should you use a Vibramate or not, because I know a lot of people are screaming through the internet right now that I'm gonna drill holes in this guitar, but the owner wanted it. And you know, there are gives and takes to using a Vibramate. So maybe we'll put an arrow, one of those things you can click on and you can go watch that, why I feel the way I do about a Vibramate video and let's go ahead and get going on this thing. Uh, but before we do, I'm gonna pull all the strings off of it and I'm gonna run out to the shop and I'm gonna replace the pickups in this guitar because that is also a thing that he wants to do. And then we're gonna talk about lining this thing up, pre-drilling it, and bolting it down. It's actually not that hard. All right, so you may be wondering how you get a Bigsby onto a guitar straight. Uh, and you know, because believe it or not, this guitar is not symmetrical and most guitars are not symmetrical. So you can't just measure from here to here and from here to here and figure out where the center line is. Uh, you actually have to figure, what, what we do is we take the time and figure out what the center line of the strings itself is, okay? Because what you don't want to have happen is you don't want to have this twisted like this and then have the strings be pulling on an angle. Okay, because that will cause you a lot of problems. So here's what we do. The string anchor to bridge, you gotta make sure that it's straight. So I figure out where the center of the bridge is, I figure out where the center of the tailpiece is, and then I figure out where the center of the actual guitar is down here at the, at the, the strap hole. Now here's the deal about this. Strap pins are not always in the in the right place. So like on this guitar, you can see the grain of the guitar where that where it is. Uh, and it is in the center. But sometimes they're not. So you can't just go by that. So here's what we do. Um, basically what I do is I find the center of backside of the vibrato. Now here's the other thing. You can't just find the center of this. You'd figure, well, I'll be able to just center this up over the hole. But this moves, okay? So you can't do that. You gotta have the actual center of the actual vibrato itself. So from here to here is the center of this right here. From this first idler uh, roller, this is the center of the first idler roller. 
I don't care about the rest of the Bigsby because the Bigsby is a cast piece and it's very inaccurate, but the string contact area is what we're worried about. So centering up that, okay? So now that I've done all that, now I can put this on the guitar, I can line up here with the center of the guitar here, and I can line up the front of the vibrato because I've got the roller uh, with a straight line from the center of the guitar there. And if I hold that all correctly, then I should be able to mark my holes, the very centers of them, drill them, and install this thing. All right, so we went ahead and marked all the holes, pre-drilled, there's four back here. Uh, there's one here, there's one here. Based on those center line measurements that we took, um, in the meantime, I actually replaced the pickups in it, and uh, so I don't didn't put the knobs back on because I haven't tested anything yet. I just want to make sure it all works before we uh, put the knobs back on. Um, but there's one real key thing that I want to share with you when we're talking about uh, when we bolt on a Bigsby. See this foam that comes underneath here, this felt piece, and there's a felt piece here. Okay. If you'll notice here. If we can point this out there's a this is a straight line from here all the way across okay and it floats so if you draw a line from here to here it's straight uh, it's straighter than the top of the guitar if we over tighten this screw right here what happens is we put we suck it down to the guitar and we put a bend in it okay um, and what that bend would happen right here right where this bearing is and it would make it to where this would bind up just a little tiny bit and it would give us tuning stability problems if you have a Bigsby on your guitar already and you've checked the nut you've checked all the other friction points and you're still having issues you may need to look at how tight your bolts are these get over tightened on a regular basis for instance it makes contact back here but then the guitar kind of falls away a little bit here. If you over tighten this, you'll actually put the whole top in a bind. This guitar does not, this Bigsby does not need to be torqued down to the guitar. It's just holding it in place. String tension does most everything. So it's just basically put screwed down enough to be snug to the guitar and to not rattle. So there's no rattles anywhere, but it doesn't have to be torqued down to the guitar. That is a big mistake that most people make and they twist all this up, they'll twist the top of the guitar and cause all kinds of other issues. I just wanted to share that with you right there. We'll go ahead and throw strings on it. We'll put the whole thing together and then uh, we'll show you when we're done. Bigsby B7 put onto an ES style guitar. Uh, I replaced the pickups in it, obviously it sounds great. Um, a couple of things to note uh, that I would do if I was gonna put one of these on another one. Um, and the customer might have to you know, handle this in, in the near future. The Because of the way the B7 is on the end down here, probably gonna have to do something different for a strap lock or a strap pin because this strap pin doesn't stick out far enough. The stock Gibson one uh, doesn't stick out far enough to grab the strap properly. And then the other thing I would do is maybe manhandle this uh, uh, vibrato lever a little bit so that it fits properly because I don't think it's going to be difficult to get it into a case. Um, you can fold them down like this and they'll work pretty well but it just kind of depends on how you want to do that and how much action you want on your lever. Uh, but other than that, that's that's it. It works pretty well. It came out really nice. Um, it bolted on there straight. It stays in tune. Uh, he does not have a roller bridge here, so if he has some more tuning stability issues, there might be some friction problems here. We might have to look at his uh, saddles a little bit. But other than that, he's good to go, man. This thing sounds great, looks great, it feels really good, and uh, that's all we need to know. My name is Dylan. This has been Dylan Talks Tone. 
putting a Bigsby on an ES-335 style guitar.